Hi, it's Katrina. From a dinosaur found on its nest to the mysterious murder of a monk, here are 11 incredible recent discoveries. Number 11. Dinosaur Era Egg Ness An incredibly rare discovery is revealing more hidden clues about dinosaurs. A bird-like dinosaur has just been found sitting on a nest of eggs complete with fossilized young inside. This bird-like theropod dinosaur was an oviraptorosaur with three-toed limbs and feathers. Dating back to the Cretaceous period over 70 million years ago, the incredible find was made in Gansu City in southern China. Dr. Shandong Bi, one of the authors of the study, says that this discovery is the first time that a non-avian dinosaur has been found on a nest of eggs with preserved embryos, all in a single specimen. The adult oviraptorosaur was preserved in a crouching position on top of at least 24 eggs with partial skeletons of the poor unhatched babies. Something happened that killed the adult while it was incubating its eggs, or maybe guarding its nest like a crocodile. Dr. Matthew Lamana from the Carnegie Museum of Natural History says actually seeing behavior like this, where an adult dino sat on eggs that were just about to hatch from millions of years ago, is the rarest of the rare. And this is the first one to have embryos inside the eggs, indicating that this dinosaur was a caring parent that ultimately gave its life while nurturing its young. In another exciting dinosaur discovery, scientists recently announced the discovery of nests in Argentina dating back around 85 million years to the late Cretaceous period. Found on the campus of the National University of Comahue in Neken, the 73 baby dinos would have lived alongside the dinosaurs had they ever hatched. The exciting thing is that there are students here studying geology and paleontology, and the fact that there are dinosaur fossils and even eggs on the campus allows everyone to participate. That's the best way to learn right there. The eggs were found within a 40 by 16 foot nesting area. Measuring roughly two inches from end to end, they are much smoother than the larger, rounder, and rougher dinosaur eggs that have been found in the region, researcher Juan Porfiri told the news. 85 million years ago, the site, known as Bajo de la Carpa, had a semi-arid climate, dunes, and small lagoons. Discoveries like this are important because they can help lead to the identification of other ancient species. For example, fossils of Notosuchio crocodiles from the Alvarezauros dinosaur family led to the discovery of relatives throughout the world, including in Mongolia and Canada. I am very happy to announce that this video is sponsored by CuriosityStream. CuriosityStream is the Netflix for nerds, the Hulu for history buffs, and the Disney Plus for the scientists in all of us. It's a subscription-based streaming surface that offers thousands of documentaries and non-fiction titles from some of the world's best filmmakers, including exclusive originals. CuriosityStream is also extremely affordable at under $20 a year. That's just $1.67 per month. They have everything from true crime stories to travel documentaries, but personally, I'm a big fan of their history section. They have countless shows, and I love the one called The Twilight of Civilizations that explains what led to the downfall of the Egyptian Empire and Pompeii, about all of the people that were frozen in time. If you like watching our videos, you will love the content on CuriosityStream. Available worldwide, it's the service for people who want to learn, explore, and understand more about anything and everything. New shows ranging from nature to music to history and science are added every week. Go to curiositystream.com slash origins for unlimited access to the world's top documentaries and nonfiction series. And for our fans, use promo code origins and you will save 25% off, which comes out to only $14.99 a year. That's just $1.25 per month. So click the link below or go to curiositystream.com slash origins and save 25% right now. Number 10. Roman Building in Israel It seems like there have been Roman buildings popping up all over the place. Archaeologists have found the final portion of an elegant building beneath Israel's western wall, which they believe may have served as a reception area for members of the local council in Jerusalem during their trek to Temple Mount. Portions of the site were first discovered by archaeologist Charles Warren during the 19th century, and subsequent excavations during the 20th century revealed more parts of the building. It looks almost spooky, with its vaulted underground ceiling and small holes for sunlight to come through the roof. Who knows what important conversations and plans went on here? Little is left of the structure today, which once consisted of two hallways connected by a fountain, according to the Israel Antiquities Authority. 
Built during 20 and 40 AD, when Israel was under Roman rule, the building was only used for a few decades. During a revolt against the Romans that lasted from 66 to 73 AD, the Roman army sacked Jerusalem and the reception hall was abandoned. Experts claim that the hallways were likely once lined with ornate sofas for council members and their guests to relax on before traveling to the most sacred site in Judaism. People may have also dined there. Reporting on the discovery, Live Science pointed out that designated rooms for eating while lying down were common among the Greek, Hellenistic, and Roman cultures between the 5th century BC and the 3rd or 4th century AD. In addition to being mentioned in the Hebrew Bible, these rooms were found in homes, palaces, temples, synagogues, and civilian complexes, according to an official statement. Following its desertion, the building was replaced by a pool for ritual purification. The IAA plans to open this and other parts of the Western Wall tunnels to tourists. Who wants to visit? Let me know in the comments below. Number 9. Buried Tunnel Located in modern-day Mexico City, the former Aztec capital of Tenochtitlan routinely faced flooding. To combat the rising waters, they built a flood control system called the Albarradón de Ecatepec. This system of dikes and waterways to control the water was one of several measures that the Aztecs implemented to protect the city. They had bridges and canals, and many examples of incredible engineering. The Spanish conquistadors failed to appreciate the Aztecs' engineering skills amid their destruction of pre-Hispanic structures during the early days of colonization. When flooding became a problem again, they built new flood control systems and repaired old ones, including the one the Aztecs left behind. Archaeologists discovered a buried tunnel from the Albarradón de Ecatepec in 2019. Measuring 27 and a half feet long, it's just a small part of the structure, which was built by thousands of indigenous workers and spanned two and a half miles. The tunnel contains several pre-Hispanic glyphs depicting war shields, the head of a bird of prey, raindrops, and more. Researchers believe that residents of the nearby towns of Ecatepec and Chiconautla carved the symbols. Meanwhile, the tunnel itself bears hallmarks of Spanish architectural design, with semicircular arches and lime and sand mortars. This combination of features represents an unusual blending of indigenous and Spanish culture. This site was originally slated to be open to the public. Unfortunately, due to a lack of funding, the tunnel has been reburied for now to prevent looting, vandalism, and other damage. Number 8. Biblical Inscription Archaeologists working at the Kerbet el Rai site in the Judean foothills recently unearthed a small jug bearing a mysterious inscription. Dating back 3,100 years, the old inscription is from the era of biblical judges. Translating to Jerubal, the carving dates back to 1100 BC and may be the first solid evidence of a name from the biblical stories of the judges being found on an artifact from that time, according to the Times of Israel. Experts explained in a press release that Jerubal was the name for the judge Gideon ben Yoash. The inscription was made in ink, and the team is unsure whether the artifact belonged to Gideon. In the press release, lead archaeologists Yosef Garfinkel and Sar Ganor cited biblical claims that Gideon organized a 300-soldier army and attacked the Midianites under the cloak of darkness. They conceded that the inscription may refer to a different Jerubal as the name was common during that time period. Written in early alphabetic Canaanite script, which has been found throughout Egypt and the Levant, the inscription comes from a time researchers admittedly know very little about. The discovery is also significant because it represents possible evidence of biblical tradition reflecting reality. Number 7. Visigoth Sarcophagus while excavating at the ancient Roman settlement of Los Villarricos in Spain this summer, archaeologists unearthed a 1,500-year-old Visigoth sarcophagus. Even more exciting, there were human remains inside. The discovery was completely unexpected, according to excavation leader Rafael González Fernández. Measuring roughly 6 feet long, the burial dates back to sometime during the 6th or 7th century. It's in remarkably good condition, featuring elaborate geometric designs, ivy leaves, and the Chi Rho sign, a common symbol of Christian artwork that represents the victory of the resurrection. For centuries, the Romans reaped the benefits of the region's natural resources, which provided them with silver, healthy crops, and raw materials like marble and sandstone. They built an olive press, mosaic floors, thermal baths, and other stunning constructions. 
The Visigoths were an early Germanic people who invaded Roman territories as the empire fell. Los Villarricos was largely abandoned by the early 6th century, and the remaining residents conformed to the Visigoth ways. The recently discovered sarcophagus was found in a burial ground near a semi-circular building that former Roman citizens used for religious purposes. Excavations at the site are ongoing, and the sarcophagus serves as a promising reminder that there are more fascinating finds waiting to be made. And now for number six. But first, want to give a big shout out to Suzanne Colquette Cook and Corinne Casper. Thanks so much for subscribing and supporting this channel. If you are new here, be sure to subscribe for more amazing discoveries. Number six, Blythe Intaglios Desert Glyphs. Found in the Colorado desert near Blythe, California, the Blythe Intaglios are a collection of mysterious giant human and animal geoglyphs that were drawn onto the ground's surface between 450 and 2,000 years ago. Created by either the Mojave and Quechan Native Americans, the human figures represent Mastamo, who the tribes believed was the creator of all life. The animal glyphs represent Hataculia, one of the two mountain lions who helped in the creation, according to the U.S. Bureau of Land Management. These gigantic figures are difficult to see at ground level due to their size, with the largest human depiction measuring 167 feet long. They are so difficult to notice that modern society was unaware of their presence until 1932, when a pilot named George Palmer spotted them from overhead while flying to Blythe from Las Vegas. A subsequent survey uncovered more of the shapes, but it wasn't until 1982 that they were added to the National Register of Historic Places. The Blythe and Taglios remain shrouded in mystery to this day, due partially to a lack of archaeological evidence that makes it difficult for experts to date them accurately. Their purpose is also unknown. Number 5. Ancient Banquet Hall in July 2021, Polish archaeologists working in the island nation of Cyprus discovered an ancient banquet hall that was used for eating the meat of sacrificed animals and drinking wine in honor of the gods. Dating back roughly 2,000 years, it's the first discovery of its type in the country. Found near the remains of an old temple at a place called Fabrica Hill in the ancient city of Neapafos, the structure was used between the 2nd century BC and mid-2nd century AD. Scientists believe that both the banquet hall and temple were destroyed by an earthquake around 150. It was common to honor the gods in Roman culture throughout the Mediterranean, but experts are unsure which deities were celebrated at this site. The team hopes to find the answers through continued research at Neapafos, where excavations have been ongoing for decades. Neapafos was founded in the southwestern part of the island at the end of the 4th century BC, and served as the capital of Cyprus from 200 BC to 350 AD. The city fell under Egyptian Ptolemaic rule during the Hellenistic period, and thereafter changed hands to the Roman Empire. This city went through a lot. Number 4. Pre-Babylonian Settlement Discovered in the Dikar region of southern Iraq, a 4,000-year-old urban settlement is helping to shed light on some of the world's earliest civilizations. Located just 19 miles from the city of Ur, the city sat along the banks of a stream in the heart of the ancient Sumerian Empire. Artifacts found at the site include rusty arrows, remnants of stoves, and prehistoric clay camels dating to the early Iron Age, as well as the remains of a temple wall measuring 7 feet high and 13 feet wide. There is also evidence of an ancient harbor that served both river and sea vessels, as well as the first known signs of silt-based agriculture. Researcher Alexei Yankovsky Diagonov speculated that the settlement was the capital of a state that was founded following the Babylonian civilization's decline during the second millennium BC. Nicknamed the birthplace of civilization, the region contains an estimated 1,200 sites that occupied the former Mesopotamian Delta. There is a lot to learn about the Babylonians and those who came before. This latest discovery is significant in helping experts better understand these early societies. Number 3. First Temple Era Walls The Bible claims that in 586 BC, during the First Temple Period, the Babylonians destroyed Jerusalem's fortification wall. This narrative is now under scrutiny following the discovery of an intact portion of the wall's eastern section in the City of David National Park. The new segment connects to two adjacent wall sections that were discovered during the 1960s and 70s, 
Altogether, these portions make up a 656-foot-long continuous wall. The fortifications were built during the late 8th or early 7th century BC, but pinpointing a specific date with modern technology is proving difficult, according to the Israel Antiquities Authority. Experts are unsure whether or not the wall was built before or after the siege of the Assyrians in 701 BC. The discovery seems to clarify that the wall around Jerusalem was intended as a fortification, despite stories of it being shattered by invading forces. After successfully stopping numerous attacks, the wall was broken down by the Babylonians. But the evidence shows that they did not destroy the structure in its entirety, nor did they need to. Instead, the Babylonians destroyed enough of the wall to make it difficult to rebuild. Archaeologists discovered an array of other fascinating artifacts nearby, including broken storage jars bearing rosette-stamped handles, characteristic of the Kingdom of Judah's final years, and a personalized clay stamp seal impression called Abula. Number 2. Neolithic Site Archaeologists working in northwestern Turkey have uncovered the remains of several humans and a three-hold musical instrument dating back around 8,500 years. Residents summoned experts to the site after finding ancient ceramic fragments in the yard of their apartment complex. Altogether, the team found 11 human skeletons. Ancient grains recovered at the site, including wheat, lentils, and barley, point toward the prehistoric settlers' agricultural lifestyle. Researchers believe that they may have also raised livestock. Why not? The site likely represents one of the earliest human settlements in western Anatolia. Communities like this arrived in the region around 9,000 years ago and stuck around for roughly 1,000 years, according to excavation leader Erkan Fiden. The skeletons will be further analyzed in hopes of determining their gender, age at death, any diseases they may have suffered from, and what they ate. Once the artifacts are thoroughly researched and restored, they will be displayed at the local archaeology museum. Number 1. A Monk's Murder While restoring a 13th century carving from Scotland's western uplands in Dumfries and Galloway, experts notice an image that they believe may depict the murder of a monk. Found at the site of a former abbey called Dundrenan Abbey, the artwork depicts a male figure donning a monastic habit and holding an abbot's staff or crozier with a dagger lodged in his chest. His right hand is placed on his chest and the crozier is across his body in an apparent display of status. Situated near the victim's feet is a smaller figure with a gash below his waist, which appears to show his entrails falling out of his body. The engraving was likely placed on a tomb chest, according to archaeologist Adrian Cox, who further explained that the smaller figure may represent the monk's killer. Cox described the scene as significant, noting that it depicts the monk as triumphant over his assailant in perpetuity, despite the man having died at the person's hands. Founded in the 12th century, the abbey that once stood at the site was home to Cistercian monks for over 400 years before it fell into disuse during the 16th century amid the Protestant Reformation. Its identity is unknown, and historical records of the monastic life there are conspicuously lacking leaving researchers little to work with in terms of learning about the abbey's past. According to an Italian merchant's late 13th century account, the site housed one of Scotland's best wool production facilities and also contained a stable and orchard. Legend holds that Mary, Queen of Scots, sought refuge at Dundrenan and spent her final night there in the Commandator's Lodge before traveling back to England in 1568. Today, what's left of the abbey stands in ruins as archaeologists work to better understand its past. Thanks for watching! If you'd like to learn about more incredible recent discoveries, let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button! See you next time! Bye!